I ask you guys to ask me any questions that you have about, you know, whatever. And one of them I saw was, why did I choose a Weimariner as my SDIT? Good morning, Internet friends. Or rather, good evening, Internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, Emerald? Say, I'm doing biting my tail. How are we, Riddler? You closed the door on me. How are we, Sassy? I'm gonna nap. So, today's been a good day. Um, I worked. I came home. We had three field trips, which was fun. And what else did I do? Swept down a hayloft, helped with a fence, and yeah, such fun. Um, I had kids from two out of the three groups recognize me. Well, not really recognize me, but be like, like Raven from Teen Titans? And I'm like, yes, for Raven from Teen Titans. Um, and I'll share a story behind this. Okay, so as you guys know, I've probably mentioned in the vlogs before, I am involved with Special Olympics. And I have been since I was seven years old. Or I guess technically my entire life. My brother's an athlete. I'm a unified partner, which means like I'm a typical person that competes with um, the athletes. Well, I was working at a camp called Camp Inspire, which is for Special Olympics athletes. And there was one camper who was in my group, but not in my specific cabin, who every few minutes would say, You're Raven from Team Titans! Which, of course, I was like, yes. And she was also very obsessed with Dexter's Laboratory. Thumbs up if you know what Dexter's Laboratory is. I know I do. I loved that show. So, yeah, that brought back some memories. Now I'm going to probably chill off a little, little bit. Blah, 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 and then work on the vlog and I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys! There be my little fluff butt. And there be my bigger not fluff butt. And there be my sassy. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. But thinking of this lovely thing and that lovely thing, um, a few days ago, I think that's what it was, I asked you guys to ask me any questions that you have about, you know, whatever. And one of them I saw was, why did I choose a Weimariner as my SDIT? Like, was it because I love the breed? Was there, like, a specific reason or what? So... This person had other questions too, which I answered in the comments, but this question about why I chose Weimariner. Hi, buddy. Yeah, this is about why I choose breeds like you. Um, I figured I should go ahead and just make it into a vlog because it is a little bit longer of a story, and I guess I don't have to think about it and really organize it. I can just kind of like let it flow, I suppose. Let it flow, let it flow, Riddler. So, here we go. If you guys have seen some of my earlier vlogs, um, you would know that, fun fact, I had been searching for a service dog for about two years. I started trying to do program dogs because I wasn't sure I could do owner training. Um, the last breed I was thinking about was a Greyhound. Because the Greyhound... <coughs> Sorry, I was sweeping out the hayloft today, so my lungs are a little dusty. Um, Greyhounds checked off some boxes for me. Number one, they are low energy, which I always heard that a low energy breed is better for anxiety, like to combat anxiety, and that a higher bre energy breed is better. <laughs> High Riddler is better for depression. Number two, they are big. I mean, they're not like. Excuse you! I'm trying to tell a story! You wanna say hi to your internet friends? That's what I thought. Um, they are a larger breed, which is what I wanted for DPT. So, the heavier the better. I mean, I didn't want, like, a Mastiff or a St. Bernard, like, nothing humongous, but just the right size. But I also didn't want something tiny like a Chihuahua. They're very gentle, very sweet. And they also are short hair. 
because I didn't want a dog that I have to take to the groomers. Um, I was going through a program called Second Chance Greyhounds, which if you guys ever want to look them up, like them, whatever, they are wonderful. The people are really sweet. And if you're looking for a place that you could possibly get a service dog, or if you just want to adopt a retired racing greyhound, Second Chance Greyhounds is awesome. However, it's in Marietta, Georgia. So if you're not from around here, it might be a little bit harder. Um... So I was going to go through them and adopt a Greyhound because what they do with their Greyhounds is go through a prison training program. So prison inmates that are specially selected, because um, not all inmates could do it, could do the program. Excuse you! Um, they would train the dogs in basics and I think a couple other things. And it was advertised that by the time the pups graduate, which is about seven to eight weeks, I believe, that they could pass the CGC, which is the Canine Good Citizen Test. And at the time, like, we have Sassy, and we had Riddler. This was sometime last year. No, not last year. 2015 is when we got Riddler. There's a little fluff butt. I'm trying to keep him from yelling at his brother so that I can actually record a video. Here. Play with lettuce. So, as I said, I had been doing Riddler's training, like his basic training, and I got to thinking about it that I'd always heard that it's really good to have experience with a breed, and I had experience with Riddler. I did his basics, and I also had, I used him as a task guinea pig. You are staring at your brother. Stop. Um, so, he did used to know how to alert. He doesn't know how to do it anymore. Um, but I had experience with the breed, and I also knew the breeder. Which, fun fact, same breeder that I got MRL from. So, yay! Ultimately, I decided to switch to a Weimaraner. Because I had experience, I knew the breeder. And then, they are highly intelligent dogs. They're wonderful. Um, they are the right size that I wanted. They are a little bit higher energy. Got to multitask. Um, so, they're highly intelligent. They are known as the dog with a human brain, because that's how smart they are. And they are also what has been called Velcro dogs, which means they like to stick by your side, which if you've seen my vlogs enough, you know that's what Riddler loves doing, and MRL will too. Ugh, lettuce! So... Um, I asked the breeder her opinion on if Weimaraners would make a good psychiatric service dog. She said yes. I did a lot of research online about if Weimaraners make good service dogs. I saw a lot for psychiatric and mobility. So, yay. Funny thing is the breeder said they should not be police dogs because they're too friendly. Isn't that right? Is that right? <gasps> is that right? Bloop. So, that's when I had made the decision to change to a Weimaraner. Mainly because of experience and I knew a breeder, but, I mean, having a Weimaraner is pretty freaking awesome. Like, I know I said I didn't want a long hair, and I have him, but I mean, his long hair doesn't require him going to a groomer, so, yay! Um, but, I love Wimes. They are so doofy. And actually, Riddler is a total doof. MRL is not as doofy as his brother. They're both super intelligent, both eager to please. Both are Velcro dogs. Like, if you see me laying in bed with them, MRL is usually at my feet or sometimes at my chest. Riddler is, like, right beside my face normally. Um... And just, they're wonderful. That's all I can really say. They're absolutely wonderful. So, that is why I went from a Greyhound to a Weimaraner. I hope I answered your question. Because I know that was just a lot. But, now I'm about to go and get me a shower. So, I hope I answered your question. And I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys! There's my sassy lady. And my Riddler boy. And my Emerald. 
say I went poop outside like a big boy. Ah, you guys are cute. So, that's gonna sound gross. Guess who didn't shower? I will shower tomorrow. But I was too busy watching Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location, which I had not watched for a like, I wouldn't watch it for a while, because, um, I thought that it was a fan game, and I was so tired of the same Five Nights at Freddy's, like, idea of, you're in one room, oh, flash to the lights before the monster gets you, blah, blah, blah. Well, they're not monsters, they're animatronics, but whatever. But, I think I heard through my brother that sister location is completely different. So I was like, oh, cool. So I'm watching Jacksepticeye's version because I love Jack so much. Though Markiplier is a very close second. And yeah, Sister Location is amazing. One, it is by the same creator who did the rest of the Five Nights at Freddy's games. And oh my gosh, if you haven't seen it and you're interested, you need to. Warning, there are jump scares. Um, I think my brain's gone desensitized to jump scares. For Five Nights at Freddy's, because the jump scares have happened, I'm just like, oh, okay, whatever. When they used to freak me out. But the storyline is so cool. I love how this game is set up. Would I play it? No. I'm one of those people that prefer to watch other people on YouTube play video games. Because mainly, either I am terrible at games, video game-wise, or I would be too scared to play them. Like Five Nights at Freddy's, I would be absolutely terrified to play those games. But I'm willing to watch somebody else play them. It's almost like living vicariously through them. Isn't that exciting? So... Someone is snoring. Cute. So now I'm going to sign up for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Um, question of the, di of the day is... What is a kind of game you are good at? And what is the kind of game you are bad at? So, two questions. Um, for me, I'm really good at card games. And board games. But mainly card games. I am really bad at video games. Mainly first-person shooters. Because I cannot walk and turn at the same time. And that ends up getting me killed several times. So put your answer down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!